Hi, I'm Orion. So, uh, seeing that I basically make, you know, a video about fountain pens every week now, I thought I'd show you uh, my uh, entire fountain pen collection and what I have inked. So, that, that, that's, that's the collection. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know how else to say it. I didn't know how else to do it, so screw it. I have I have four. That that this is my entire collection as of uh, the eleventh of March, when this is going up and when this is also being recorded. So we're gonna start out. We're gonna start out with this. This is the biggest one. Now, you might be thinking. You're just getting into fountain pens and you get a Mont Blanc. Well, you will see that, yeah, it it's it's a knockoff. <laughs> I am way too fucking cheap to get a Mont Blanc pen. So this is the Jin Hao X159, which is essentially a knockoff. All right, so this is currently inked with Parker Quink Black. Not to be confused with Twink Black. Uh, <laughs> listen, if you knew me, you know that joke was coming. So, uh, Parker Twink Black, <laughs> I mean Quink Black. <laughs> yeah, uh, listen, welcome to my channel. I don't take myself too seriously. But anyway, I'm going to do a bit of a bit of a swatch test and I've just realized how blown out that looks. Hold on. Okay. It's not doesn't suck as much. So uh, Yeah, this nib uh I do really like this nib. Um it's, uh, it's in extra fine, but it is super smooth. Um, I have sort of tried to adjust the nib to make it more like inky. Um, yeah. So that is a bit of a swatch test. Uh, now uh, I want to be clear this may not be a hundred percent accurate based on my camera you know white balance might be off and uh you know something to do with your monitor it might not be completely color accurate so take any youtube video like this with a pinch of salt so anyway that is my Jin Hao x159 so moving on we have the lamy safari vista and uh, yeah, this was the very first fountain pen I ever got. Yeah, it is in a medium nib. I'm uh, having to be very careful with what I do because uh, the focus isn't great and uh, just the lightness of everything just isn't great. But yeah, this is my first. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy using it. So um, actually, I should probably say what ink I'm using. I'm using um, Diamine Imperial Purple. Um, I've really gotten into Diamine inks because uh, they're cheap, and these are these are the small uh, little plastic bottles. I really like Diamine inks. They're just oh fuck. Uh, there's an issue with this bottle. <laughs> I'm going to be right back. Okay, well, that was embarrassing. Um, yeah, supposedly you shouldn't really uh, tilt these bottles too much. But uh, yeah, this is Diamine Imperial Purple in the Lamy Safari in medium. Well, Lamy Vista. Ok, 
is, so surprisingly it hasn't gone uh, through the page as badly as I thought, but uh, wow. Um, well, uh, it's already pretty smudged. Uh, <laughs> well, shit. Um, so moving on, this is a pen that I literally only got like last night and it is the Wingsung 3013, turn around, should be seeing the wing song. I can only see across in the camera, so uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, that's mainly just so that I can see, you know, where things are focusing, but it is uh, inked with, now I'm going to have to be strategic, because uh, if that's what happens with the purple pen when you tilt it too much, I don't want to know what happens when you tilt this one too much, but it is Diamine Meadow. Um, which is a nice green and I'm going to make sure that I don't tilt it too much because I don't want the ink to go anywhere well except on the page but yeah this is my very first um, vacuum filler pen um, and yeah it was kind of a bit of a pain to uh, get going with the ink but uh, now that now that I've got it going it's uh, yeah So that is that for the writing test. And then finally, this is a pen that I wish, I wish I loved. Um, because it's a nice size. It's, you know, it's blue, it's metal. And it has a really nice spring loaded clip. But the issue here is the nib. It is unbearably scratchy. This is the uh, Hong Dian. M1. It's, it's a nice pen, but the nib is literally like unbearable to use. And this pen is inked up with. It's a very popular diamine ink, diamine oxblood. Again, making sure I'm not tilting the bottle too much because I don't want the ink to explode again. But you know what? I'm not gonna post it. It's another little bitch. So uh, yeah, that is all of my fountain pens and all of the inks. Again, didn't think my ink would explode there, uh, but yeah. Weirdly, it seemed that um, my Imperial Purple hat, like the bottle must have some issues. Like you tilt it too differently and it explodes everywhere. Uh, I'm, I might just have to find some sort of other solution for that bottle because it is, it it just gets a bit too excited. Uh, but anyway, that is it for my fountain pen collection and what I have currently inked. Uh, I'm saying both because what's currently inked is all the fountain pens I have. That's it for this video. I've been Orion signing out.